back to Cuban with a Twist. Today we're going to do our openings for our Thanksgiving dish. It's our appetizer. It's crab pot pies. We've got quite a few things that go into this dish. We've got some crescent rolls, some sweet potatoes, some parsnip, and some thyme. We've got some yellow and red tomatoes. We have our crab. I went ahead and did a claw and a jumbo lump so I can, we can have two different types. We've got a quarter of real butter, sweet onion, fresh garlic, and fresh parmesan. We're going to grate it on top. First thing we're going to do is start off by putting the oven on 400. I like convection. If you don't have convection, 375 is good. Okay, I've started my pan here. I'm going to saute the uh, shank ham. I'm going to add some olive oil to this. And I'm going to cook that probably for about 15 minutes till it's brown all the way around and then we'll add our other ingredients. All right, we've got the ham shank in there. We're going to add four tablespoons of real butter. Okay, we're going to add a half a cup total. Okay, or I'm sorry, one cup total, half of each of red and yellow tomatoes. We're going to toss that in there. We're going to move it around. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and add the half of a sweet onion and the four cloves of garlic. Let's move that around. You know, the best part about cooking at home is having your family around. And I really enjoy these days because I have my granddaughters here, I have my daughter here with me. So this is really a family get together. It's all about family, food, and fun. We'll be back, okay? Now I've been moving this around a little bit. The onion is starting to get tender. You're gonna see that when it starts turning translucent. Now we're gonna add the sweet potato and the parsnip and the thyme, okay? We're just gonna toss the thyme in there. And we're gonna toss the rest. And now we're really going to add one cup of broth and we're going to top it and we're going to let it simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes, okay? So here we go. One cup of broth. And now we'll just let that simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes until everything is nice and soft and kind of falls apart. All right, we're taking a look at this. It's been about 20 minutes or so. You can see the veggies are starting to get soft. We got the sweet potato that's just starting to be able to break it apart. I'd like to see this ham start falling apart on us. So I want to say probably it's going to cook maybe for about another 30 minutes or so. And then we'll get ready to fill up our little pot pies. Welcome back. We are going to get started on our little pot pies. We're going to do a little nonstick spray. Okay, it's just a tiny bit. We're going to take our crescent rolls. We're going to separate it. And then I'd like you to put that, the big part in the bowl. Okay? And kind of press it up a little bit. And we're going to leave this little piece kind of sticking out. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to fill it up with all of the good stuff that we've had cooking all day long, and then we're going to top it with the crab. And we're ready to fill up our little pots. Okay? I've got a quarter cup here, and I think we're probably going to be able to do a little bit, tiny bit more. I'm going to put a little piece of ham in this one. Okay? You don't want to fill it too much because I don't want it to be overflowing, but you do want to have it at least like this because we're going to top this with the crab meat. Okay, so it's a little bit more than a quarter cup. There we go. Let's get that little piece of thyme out of there. There we go, nice. And we're just going to fill these each up individually with the same amount. Okay. This will be a few minutes and then we'll be right This back. is about eight ounces of crab. So we're just going to break it up. Okay. There we go. Nice. Now I don't want to do too much to it. I don't want to add a lot of flavors or a lot of stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to drizzle it. Olive oil, salt, and pepper. 
tiny bit of lemon and it'll be ready to go. So, let's get the cracked pepper. Okay. I'm going to use um, a truffle salt. I really do like that very much. It has a nice earthy flavor to it, which I think will complement um, the crab. Okay. There we go. Got a little seed in there. Toss it around a little bit. Okay. And I'm just going to top them. There we go. Nice. Make sure we have enough for all of them. Okay. Perfect. Wow, I don't think it gets better than this. Now, as you can see, we left this little side flap here. Now, I'm going to take it and I'm going to twist it so it makes a really pretty little braid, okay? All right, I went ahead and I braided each one individually. These are ready to go into the oven for about 15 to 18 minutes. And as soon as we pull them out, we'll top them with some grated Parmesan. Look forward to it. I can't wait to see how they turn out. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We pulled them out of the oven. As you see, we got the little twisty in the bread. They look fantastic. We're going to top them off with some grated cheese. This is a Parmesan Romano. Okay, let's start it just like that. Perfect. All over it. Nice. There we go. Excellent. A little black pepper. Perfect. These are our versions, Cuban with a twist, crab pot pies. Fantastic for Thanksgiving or any night that you want to share with your family. Thank you so much for watching us. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and see us always on syndicatednews.net. Thank you.